Good night, people. <clears throat> Seven forty-two. I thought we would get on earlier. I've been waiting, but the clouds are so heavy there. It's still very heavy. It started. It looks like it's going to drop out again. <clears throat> I was going. To, this is a different view. You realize if you saw my earlier vid. I'm putting you on sideways tonight. This is zoomed in. That's zoomed out. Okay. We're looking due west. Okay. Let me, whoa. He's at the top of your screen. Oh, no, he's on the left side of your screen now. <clears throat> but that's... Okay, so... Let me show you something. Where is this? Is he still there? Come on, where are you? He's going in the clouds and chemtrails. Damn things. But anyways, let me show you. This is the top. He's up there. He's going to come down and go out. You know, I, I did it this way so we could try and get a longer picture of him. He almost looks going to draw a sign like that NASA symbol or that orbit symbol. You know when they show you <clears throat> the um, the thing? Where is it? They show you like it's going to be up here and come down and then he's going to head out. But he's not going to go so far, of course. He's just going to... There's going to... There should just be a little flare at the end that you've determined here where he goes from the white stage to the reddish to the fine red dot stage. <clears throat> you see, the light and the color is important in analyzing this. The lux. Yeah, I realize it's not a parallax. We have to give them a new science. They didn't tell you the thing. It's a parallax. <clears throat> a stellar parallax that need to account for... The stellar parallax to properly do this um, calculation, you need to include the lux or the lumens that comes off the light. But with these chemtrail clouds, you can't do. Look at these clouds, man! You spoil up my night with this one. No. I have to start this over? 745. <coughs> <coughs> well, thank you, Father, for this opportunity. <coughs> to fight the beast. The beast is in the light. It's in all of us. I left a short meditation technique in the description box that for those who want to achieve a little more light to the Holy Spirit and take this opportunity of the tear in the matrix to accept the Holy Spirit in a possibly more fully fashion than you have already or if you haven't but it's really kind of if you haven't this meditation because what you really have to do is get back to your natural state you have to unmind you have to get rid of the matrix that's in your mind okay that one that's in the mind so I could start to talk, but I'd just sound crazy and go crazy when I start to tell you how thought works. And then when I tell you how physically thought is and what happens, it's eternal. Each, each one, you, like when you talk, 
but then there's the space in between thoughts the induction in the torsion zone which is really more of the moment that we're in now we're in the space in between that's why you can't rationalize it where we are right now is a space in between with very serious hyperdimensional, interdimensional, whatever you want to call it, matrix, the worst things, kind of things that in creation right now with our magnetosphere. And all this crazy thought energy that people have everywhere. So anyways, the technique down there. Okay, you can read the technique, but part of it I talk about in the beginning when your head is going to the pillow to invite the Holy Spirit in and try not to use words. Okay, this is really part of the secret of that technique is getting you in touch with that level. Some people call it source level, some people call it intention or God or I don't know what, but it's that really high, much higher level, right? Um, oh, wait a second, what was it saying? Oh, this technique is to help you get back in touch with that level of source level, all right? That, so when I tell you when your head is going in between the space, when your head is dropping to the pillow, Think poetically now, not literal, okay? So in that moment, in between sleep and not sleep, without words, okay? It's like, you know, if you have someone that you live with or yourself or whatever and you have little code, like there's a way that you set the lock so it doesn't lock or it looks like or where they can put it or where you put the key you push the key in a little place you know like when you push something and hide it and you don't look but you just know that little touch you know you know like when you know how to do something like when you're cooking or something that little touch you might have to move the camera a little bit now I don't know think he's going to go out of frame at the end Maybe I should move, what do you think? I don't want to have to move it again so I can see. <clears throat> I'm gonna move it. <clears throat> I don't think you can go out of frame there. Sorry to move it up to eight minutes, up to eight minutes? Let me, let me just do one more. Oh! Alright. That's what you wanted, Father? Fine! Um, so, once again, remember, this is the top, this is, he's up there, he's going to come down and then turn off a little bit, flare out and go out. This, where, this side over here is the, um, North. This side over here is the south. We're looking straight west, and I'm east, I guess. Alright. And I'm zoomed in? I must be zoomed in. I don't want to touch the fucking thing anymore. He looks to me like he's going away, though. I don't know. I would have thought when I came down here I would have seen him higher or something. But all things pass, you know. So anyways, the technique. Uh, this is a technique to invite the Holy Spirit into your life in an emergency guerrilla fashion, okay? Like I said, the first, it's two nights. The first night when your head goes into the pillow, just have that little thought that allows him in, like when you set the lock or you push the key for someone to come in late at night, like when you're asleep, and you just set the door a certain way or something so it's not locked, just do that touch. Don't use words in your mind, no, and don't hang on the thing. 
Just touch it. You don't have to even, you know, you don't think. You just do the touch. <clears throat> then you can think, though, because you're going to leave in your mind um, a mental image. You're going to paint an image, okay, of a long machete, a cutlass of 28, we call it. It's for, like, chopping bush and whisk and stuff. And a new file. I guess you could sharpen it if you want to, but I wouldn't worry about that. Just so you have your new file and a good machete. doesn't have to be new, just a good machete. It's better not to be new, really. A new file and a good machete. You know what a good machete is? Oh! Um, yeah, you need a good machete around. Let me tell you something. You need a good machete around. That's how some people say it, machete. Some of you other people say, what do you say, machete, machete? Some people say machete. So make sure you have a good machete around. And a new file is always good to have. That's like new underwear or whatever. Um, yeah, can you believe... Does anybody know where you can get any of that new underwear? My Jesus. Undetectable. Underwear. I wonder who uncovered such a thing. It would be nice if they could even get their water bill paid before their water gets shut off. But the technique is... Um, all right, your head... Okay, right. So the first night, you're going to make this image in your head. You're going to leave in the corner of your mind, in the room of your house, like in a corner, standing up the machete. All right? You just leave it there, standing in the corner. And a new file, or well, very good file, leave around there. Don't leave no old file. There's a lot of work to be done. <clears throat> okay, the Holy Spirit will come in, take the machete. You're not going to know about this. But he's going to chop a lot of the bush and the wisps in your mind and, and soften up. Because like to try and work on your mind yourself at this point, forget about it. Well, I'd not say forget about it, but this is a big help. So he's going to go soften up your mind and work with you. And you work with him. So the first thing he's going to go in, he's going to do some heavy bushing. Don't worry about it. Tomorrow night or the, ne the following night, this is two nights. You don't do this all your life. You do this like once in your life. You, know. um, you have the same, you don't even have to have the same thought, but you have the same thought. You do have the same thought, whatever. But you also leave in the corner with the machete a good or new straw broom. You know, like the straw broom? That's good for getting in the corners, good and stiff. You leave that broom there, and the Holy Spirit will come and finish chopping up and do a little bit finer chopping, you know, because he chopped a big whisk last night, and to do some more work, and then he'll sweep out some of them corners too, and that's that. So this is this is a good time. There's heavy clouds out there because everything kind of dull on the low horizon, but up top. But we know them. Um, so that's that meditation to invite the Holy Spirit into your life and get an extra boost. It's not something you think about, you know. <sighs> We're on a tripod also with the camera sideways, so... Maybe I'll curse a lot less tonight. Don't even have to touch anything. I might have to curse to move these clouds or something, though, because this almost. I'm 
might not, huh? I don't know. Oh, this is it. <clears throat> you all need to learn to curse. This is a true demonic possession. Okay? Now, when you curse, you activate your, you know, what do they call it? I just call it whatever. Um, chi? You know? Or well, I don't know, yang or this, but no, chi. So, you get hot and, you see, they want to, they want to take away your chi, you know. They want you to be mellow fellow, so they can just harvest your dark ecstasy energy and your adrenal fluid and your kundalini energy, and they like to live off. Oh, here's one thing. Don't believe about this. They want to kill us. They can kill us so fucking easy, man. They love us. The more suffering we have is better for them. You haven't figured it out? The more suffering energy on earth, don't be fooled by their fucking numbers about, oh, it's getting better on earth or whatever, this and that. There's more suffering energy. All you rich people think, oh, most of us, there's 70%, this or that. There's more suffering energy on earth every day. It's not getting better. Don't believe anything that have to do with fucking numbers. Numbers is a system against God. There's one number. This, oh. I would love to put a fucking law on scientists who use a number over 500,000. If they use a number over 500,000 without a permit, I'd fucking shot them. And then... Nobody really except the highest one with the king's approval would be able to use a number over a million. Even for people to speak the number over a million. That is in the kingdom. Listen, this is another thing. You see people, they got rid of our kings. You see what's happened in Syria and these places? They don't want, you see when you have a real leader on earth, they don't want you to have a real leader on earth because your chi gets up. Because when you have a real leader, that's the way people are supposed to be. People are supposed to be not like we are. I think uh, if he's going to go off the camera, I don't know. It's already down low or something. Or not so. But the you need to curse and move these demons. You need to invite the Holy Spirit. You need to enjoy life as a human being in the strength of your chi and you need to know what it's like to have a great leader whether he's your community leader or your brother or your everybody and you need to know how to be that leader it moves around you need to let it move around and pass it around when you have it you pass it around to someone else look at these fucking ministers for the, how long you see the same God I think I'm going to go get a coffee leave you alone oh. I think I'm going to have to move this lady to catch him on the bottom looks like he's going to run off to, I don't know well, to 19 minutes? 19 minutes and it's 8.01. I'm gonna go get a coffee.
you think my rage is something, you don't know what's behind me. Yeah. I am nothing compared to what is behind me. I don't like that word, but what is in front of me, what is forward and around I, and coming more forward every day, every day coming more forward. And you know what? It's coming forward in the name of the Lord. Yes. Jesus Christ, Jarastafari. It's coming forward in the name of the Lord. Okay? The Lord. The one we call Jesus Christ, Jarastafari. You know that one? some smoke. Alright. It's 8 to 11. We'll see if he fits on the screen tonight. He's moving over though, right? <laughs> He's starting that turn. This is really funny because I'm looking at it and I'm seeing it, and you're looking at it sideways. <laughs> well, this is what we call jaw works, you know. This is just a natural thing here. The king is a natural thing. Uh, love is a natural thing for each other and nature. Oh, yes, this is my thing. Marriage and the gays. Let me tell you, if there's any gays, I think there's one. There must be, maybe. I don't know. This marriage thing. Don't you see you're being trapped? The army thing, the military thing. Don't you see you're being trapped? How could that possibly be good to want to be able to kill people? You have the right to go in the army to kill people. What kind of crazy shit is that? I know a gays from a long time in New York City working in New York City from the late 70s, early 80s, call it, really. And this crazy vibe to go kill people, I don't know this. And this marriage thing. You don't see marriages failing everywhere. Marriages, this one-in-one -one marriage system is not a good system. You need different systems for these things or whatever. So, this, and here's a message for Mr. President. You was possessed, you know. I hear it on your voice the other day when you're reading to the kids when they coded you with the Bible passage of the gnashing out of the teeth, Mr. President. I hope you hear this. Because I truly believe you're possessed and that you... This possession, when people, it's this we're talking about the great deceiver, you know. When you look at him, he's not there. But I'm telling you, that, um, oh, this thing with the marriage. Look, you don't want to, you don't want to mess with people. They get you to mess with people's minds when you change the definitions when you change the number systems, when you do inflation and you keep changing the values of things. You don't see it? How to mess in your mind all the time. What you should do with the marriage is just make a new system, a new category that includes the 
religious marriage classification, but includes it and it's open to all new people. Make it so you don't have to have one and one, too. Why can't I have a couple of wives or a woman have a couple of husbands and you still share like that? Make a new thing. You, you go into the old system and put them in the old system and all the fucking laws is stupid anyways. You have too much fucking laws on the books. That system is done. All you... I don't need... All right. You need to start to see a change in the really deep things that guide you and give you fun and stuff and can take away your fun. You want to have fun and enjoy life and you want happiness and peace. If we're going to go to a new world order that's not the fucking alien shithole, move your bumble clot. You gotta learn how to curse like that, Mr. President. You look up Peter Tosh with the Bumblecloth interview. There's a couple on the YouTube where he explains it and he explains his experience. And St. Peter is not joking when he tells you how to curse. St. Peter is not joking when he teaches you how to curse. So learn it, please. And use it. And move some fucking demons out of your life. Because they're all around here. The, um, oh, what am I trying? What was it saying? The cursing? Oh, Mr. President, the gays, the new thing, yeah. Make a new thing. It's easier. Give it a new name. And just get people to agree. And you, you have a new thing. And then, all right, so people. You can't mess with people's minds like this. Our minds are messed. Or the TV, or the shit, or the thing. Remember this one rule. Mind is sacred ground. Mind is the sacred ground. And we trampled it too early from the Garden of Eden when they ate from the Tree of Knowledge and they used their minds too, when we were too young and we built these bombs and made all this evil and think about the past, think about the phone, make up words, make up concepts and then project them into the atmosphere with all these squirrely magnetic signals. Look at all the fucking magnetic signals you fling in the air with all these fucking minds attached to it, devices. Let me tell you, God bless everybody. Times. This is like 8.18 Eastern Standard Time. You can see the, the state he's in now. That is probably pretty close to the brightness. He's He, he must be going to turn around this time. I don't know. Going from the white to the reddish phase. So you see how bright he is, though. Or whatever. You can see it. It's going to swing. It's going to swing. Now, on your screen, you see, he's really, he's going to swing a little bit. He's on this eccentric, the, the eccentric, orbit so there's a little bit of a perpendicular angle and but really he's going to be going away from us so imagine now he's at the starting race right you go into the starting line 
and he's going to pull into the starting line. Okay, so you see him coming in, that's what he likes. In the next 10 or 15 minutes, I guess he's going to, a half hour, I don't know how long does it take. He's going to pull to the starting line and turn his ship so he's facing away. And then he's going to be gone like a shot. And all you see is just this like dot. Okay, part of this thing, I didn't remember something about the time travel business and light. Like understanding when he goes away, when he shots away, he's going on some time travel, light business, traveling on the light. So this thing about what we see with light when you're seeing a hyperdimensional intergalactic event like this. The experience is really metaphysical in a lot of ways. So how you interpret light even. This is a metaphysical thing. In some levels. Is he going to come off the screen? I think he's going to come off the screen. Oh, my coffee. My coffee. You ever go to sip your coffee and holy Jesus, I won't say it, okay. I won't say it. Who was that? Whatever. I won't say it. I say a lot of things maybe I shouldn't, but you know, sometimes when you're a soldier and you're on the front line, you can't fucking worry the bumble clot. This is the front line. Some of you can be better, I know that. You hear that? Something around. Right. This is the front line. Really and truthfully, the whole world, let me tell you, the whole world should shut down all the schools. People should go home, plant some little gardens for two months, learn how to do some little thing in the yard, and, um, Someone should make some little generators that, you know, the special hydrogen plasma or whatever special thing you got for, to code off for people to use on community or yard basis. But, um, oh, all right, you want to know something? I think you're going to have to, I'm not going to say it. No, I'm not going to say it. Either. I'm just going to watch right now. I think you start to see something's wrong now on this angle. Look at how he's traveling off now. You see it? I think you see it. You see how he's moving? He's moving off like to the middle level on your monitor or whatever. Or he's coming up on your screen, right? 
to me I'm looking on them oh this is really good I like this you're seeing the world sideways now and I'm seeing it the right way oh no forget that take that um, God bless you all Look at him running off there. <clears throat> Venus, my penis. This is no Venus. I think we got a pretty good catch on this angle, huh? Hope this comes out. God bless you, please, Lord Jesus Christ. Your Majesty. We getting true. What was that? What the... I think I just felt a little tremor. I can knock on 826. People, here's, you know when they tell you about the tides and the moon? It's really not, I don't know what it is. I'll tell you what I think here. The moon isn't really pulling on water. It's like pulling on everything. Like the center of the earth, kind of. So, the reasons we get these tidal movements isn't because the moon is pulling on the water. It's because it's pulling, like, on the crust of the earth, or the center of the earth, or the crust, like the skin. Like, you know, if you pinch the skin, on your arm and like lift it up a little bit I don't know if it's like pulling on the skin of the earth or if it's pulling on the magnetic core of the earth and that's causing the skin of the earth to flex but my point is that the tides are the result of the movement of the skin of the earth on the water and it's not something moving the water, it's the skin of the earth moving the water. And that causes tides and tidal waves. Like when you have an earthquake underneath the water, you get the tsunami or whatever they want. It. So <coughs> the moon doesn't move the water. Whatever, that's a thought. That must be crazy, huh? Really fucking crazy.
Help us get out of this trouble. Help us get out of this trouble. Help us get out of this I feel good, good, good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, good, good. I feel good, 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 good. It's a good thing I can't remember things like the words to songs, you know. I remember the words the song should be in trouble more now. Word sound and power, huh? Word sound and power. One firefly just passed by, I don't know if he blinked. He was about 20 feet away, though. about 15 more minutes and we're right close to the edge there I think I to kind of try and remember something on him. Yeah, because he comes way down low. I'm going to have to move this or something, huh? Hmm. Oi! Ay, 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 ay. Undetectable. Undercover. Wait a second. This underwear was not only undetectable, but it was undercover? 
I want to know who is there. <clears throat> Whoever's there, I want you to come pay my water bill. How can they charge me over a hundred U.S.? I don't even remember. It's like a hundred and fifty U.S. almost. And I remember I was like cursing out my neighbor because he let his water get disconnected. I said, how could you let it get so high? And I told him he was talking bullshit. Now I'm... F whatever. And I pay my water bill, too, and they come... And they say it's fucking 12,000 J or some shit, or more than 10,000. I figure, what the fuck? And 85 to 1 is the thing, so that's 100 and something, 20 or 30, I don't know what. And it's me and the fucking dogs, and I'm not doing hardly any, I'm not doing any work or nothing in the yard. Don't use the hose. Don't water nothing or anything, hardly anything again. Most thing I use water for is to, to coffee myself. You know what's really wicked when you drink so much coffee like this, and you, you like you and <clears throat> you see like. Yeah, wear certain things. Well, under certain like high meds, you wear. You don't always change your body clothes with certain your things like your body zone. So sometimes you wear your shirts and different things a little bit long. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but when you wash your things, you see all the coffee dye come out. You can't believe. Let me tell you something. From dust to dust. Go wear like one of them Lycra shirts or whatever. For drink coffee like I drink coffee, and then keep that shirt on for a couple of days where you sweat and live in it. So your biofield get coated in it, and then go wash it. You can't believe what the water looks like when you wash that shirt, man. You're a little bit frightened. You kind of realize that you're not even really here in this physical sense, man. All this physical stuff is this physical nature of dust to dust. It's better to grasp the dust to dust concept and let go of the physical one and come into the electric universe or the spiritual universe. Boy, when I, wa I can't believe when I wash my shirt right now. Like you wash it, you have to wash it by hand to see this, you know. Mm. I'm coming off this. He's still there. All right, look at that turn he's making right to the edge of the screen. Oh, father. I miss it. I'm going to have to move the screen a little, people, soon. He's going to drop off. But bless you, we really got a catch, I think, tonight. Hmm? Father, you're making that turn. This is that sharp turn. You see him put on the brakes? He went flying into this turn at high speed, you know, and touching the brakes and sliding the rear, and he's coming around. He's going to go, shots! Father, you're some driver. I know that. You're crazy, and you're funny, and terrible sometimes. But God bless yourself. I have to give you credit. If you are the one who is responsible for this language, well, God bless yourself, and I'm sorry if I curse you out the other day, but we're in a fucked up situation here with all this thought and every fucking thing. Boy, look at him coming around the edge of the screen there. Oh my God! 
Look at this turn, people. Fuddy, you're going to come off my screen. I see you coming right to the edge of me right now. People, do you still see him? I hope he's coming across on... I hope this is real on my screen, because I never trust his viewfinder. I see him here, like, crawling up the side. Oh, Father God, you give us... Please, Lord Jesus Christ, help me get this video upload. Father God... Lord Jesus Christ, I'm sorry for everything. Sometimes I'm not cursing everything, but you know, I'm just trying to keep myself breathing on this place to get this work finished. God help you. God help you people. I hope you see this. I hope he's still there. I hope this is really... I can't... Is he there? I see him on my screen, but... He's right on the edge of my screen. Is he on the viewfinder or out? Oh, God help us. Please, Lord Jesus Christ, be there. Be there on the viewfinder. Be there, God. Be there. Oh, Jah Rastafari. Ever loving, ever faithful King of Kings. Oh, Father God. For the God, for the God, love you so much, for the God, for the God, keep going, for the God, keep going, for the God. Oh, please, Lord Jesus Christ, Father God Almighty, Jesus Almighty God, keep going, stay right there. Look at this coming around. Oh, Father God, Father God. Oh, oh my. God. He turned right around. No. Father God, I love you so much. I love you so much. I want to jump in there with you. Let me now. Well, to an hour on this vid, and he's dropping off. I'm gonna. All right, he's gonna drop off. Let me get a. Where's my thing? people whoa people whoa people he's off my screen he's off my screen I'm gonna change this oh wait let me just move the camera a little bit to keep him for another minute because it's maybe I think there's a couple more minutes. Hold on, let me. I think there's maybe five more minutes on this memory card. I just moved the camera, you know.
All you people holding on, please keep holding on. And don't you worry when some of us are gone because we're together in the higher light. Enjoy the experience. Enjoy the good fight. This is the good fight. This one is the good fight. Sometimes when you're in a good fight, you end up one or two blows to each other and then you realize you're really together. And you bounce back up again you get stronger, you know. Sometimes the person you is fighting is really you two is together, you know. Yeah. And you know the ones that you have to fight is even higher above us.